Father's Day came and went with a local dad still fighting to be with his disabled daughter. For years, his job accommodated his daughter's needs, but all of a sudden, his hours were changed, and now he's going to court. CBS 2's Derek Dennis has more on a father's fight. Is that boyfriend girlfriend? George Ulrich of Westchester and his daughter Victoria are inseparable. She came into this world disabled, and he's been her caretaker while working as a letter carrier at this Scarsdale post office. Yes, for 17 years, I've been working 5 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in order to be home at 2 p.m. for my daughter. But George's early morning family-friendly hours were suddenly changed last February, forcing him to choose between sorting the mail by day or cutting his hours and income for the sake of his daughter. Oh, it's unfair. It's unfair. I, you know, I got medical bills, con ed bills. I mean, I'm losing pay right now. He chose the pay cut, $200 less a week, and filed a federal complaint of disability discrimination with the EEOC. Everybody knew about my daughter, and nobody ever had a problem with me working 5 to 1.30. George Ulrich isn't just fighting for more time with his daughter. He's fighting to change the Americans with Disabilities Act so that it not only protects the disabled, but parents of the disabled on the job. Sometimes to do what's right, it's worth fighting for. Jonathan Bell represents the All Riches. He says Victoria clearly needs her father and the law should allow him to maintain his prior schedule. If you're caring for a child or a significant other or someone else, and as long as it's a reasonable accommodation, that's what we're going th through here. The Postal Service wouldn't comment on the Ulrich case, but says automation has cut the need for some early morning shifts, along with a 20% drop in mail volume nationwide. Thank you. But Victoria just wants her dad, even if it means a change in federal law. In Westchester, Derek Dennis, CBS 2 News. And a hearing has not yet been set in the case. It could take as long as six months before a decision is made. Right after.